Hey YouTube, Love and Light, the Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing an energy check-in for the sign of Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Um, if you're not a Capricorn and you're watching this video, there is a message here for you. Everyone is welcome here. Um, this is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone, so please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. Um, thank you guys for all of your love and support. You are number four highest viewer of the week. Just to let you know, guys, I'm going back to the way I originally do the videos with the love and the energy check-in combined because it was just too much on me. It was too many videos. Um... 28 videos on top of all of the other stuff that I do was just overwhelming for me. So, um, hope you all, um, can understand that. <laughs> yeah. So anywho, let's go ahead and get it started. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and gods, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my Capricorns today. Anything that is of you, light and love, anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. I ask that you protect my Capricorns as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. 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 So let's see what's going on with my caps today. What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Ooh. Okay. I feel like y'all going through a major transformation, Capricorn. What y'all got going on? Ooh. Somebody's addicted to y'all sex. Somebody in some devil energy. What's going on? <laughs> Queen of Earth and y'all energy, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, y'all might be in y'all Queen of Pentacles energy. Calling in wealth and abundance. Ooh, Queen of Fire, Queen of Wands. Somebody, ooh, somebody got some choices in love. Queen of Wands, okay. Virgo, could be a Virgo. Oh, okay. Let me find out. <laughs> y'all got, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So I feel like y'all could be, um, Lack and focus right now. Got some creative blocks right now. So let's see what we got going on. So I feel like y'all might feel in some lack, you know, I feel like y'all lack growth right now. Let's see. Or somebody feel like they lack growth with you. Let's see what's going on. What's going on, Capricorn? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all got a floodgate of abundance coming in, though. Okay. Y'all got blessings. Success, uh, prosperity, support. Somebody getting some good news about some abundance. Y'all manifesting wealth, abundance. Mm. Y'all being divinely guided. Y'all got some blessings coming in. Some solid, uh, uh, some solid financial abundance. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Virgo. Y'all got a Virgo on y'all energy somewhere. I said that earlier. Mm-hmm. 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 Who is the Virgo? Somebody's hard working, faithful coming towards y'all. Okay. Somebody Virgo in love. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay. Empire. Somebody you building an empire with. Somebody you been a, a legacy with. Oh. Okay. Or Virgo could be coming in. Okay. Somebody you could be calling in. That's going to bring stability and abundance towards you. Okay. Well, I, I ain't upset about it. Or somebody you could be out of alignment with. Somebody you was building with. Could be in separation with. Somebody you could be uh, holding on to. Somebody feel like they might have missed the opportunity. Some of y'all could be in a separation with a Virgo, possibly. Um... Mm. Somebody could be gossiping about a connection you and a Virgo. Uh, in a, a, uh, somebody could be gossiping about a connection you in separation with. Don't have to be a Virgo. Could be anyone. Virgo is just pre prevalent here. Um, hmm. I feel like it's um. Somebody could have cheated. Queen of Swords in reverse. 
Somebody could be doing in Queen of Swords in reverse energy. Somebody, somebody's a cheater here. Somebody's gossiping. Could have been a liar. Somebody's in some toxic devil energy here. Somebody you lacking communication with, poor communication. Hmm. Hmm, the world. Yeah, ending a cycle. Somebody could be ending a cycle with someone. Um, headed towards wish fulfillment, something, a new beginning. Somebody could want a new beginning with you, or somebody could be going towards wish fulfillment. Something's going to give them a sense of wholeness, wholeness and um, wholeness and fulfillment. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like you are headed towards victory and success, though. You're going to achieve a lot of things, Capricorn. I feel like you're going to be traveling. I feel like you're going to be completing a cycle. <clears throat> it's going to bring you whatever it is you're doing. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance. I feel like you're working on building building a legacy for yourself. Um, headed towards um, growth and, and expansion. Whatever it is you're doing, it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, but I feel like, oh, Ten of Cups. Yeah. So, um, I feel like uh, this could have something to do with a family. But I feel like good luck and fortune is on your side. You could be calling in a Ten of Cups. Uh, we got the Chariot here. But I feel like you're going to have victory. Some of y'all calling in um a ten of cups situation or you can't overcome an obstacles in a ten of cups situation oh i feel like some of y'all gonna have some choices in love or need to make a choice in a love situation or a family dynamic um i feel like you calling in soulmate or some of y'all could be in, in out of alignment with your soulmate mm. Mm. So I feel like some of y'all could be overcoming some obstacles. Oh, oh, shoot. I can't take all them. That's too many cards. That is too many cards, period. I ain't tell you to do all that talking. <laughs> but um, I'm going to take this one. Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like um, somebody very moody right now. Um, somebody is, uh, maybe wearing a facade, maybe, maybe, uh, very fickle right now. I feel like, um, somebody's not following their heart. Somebody could be create, you have a creative block. Somebody's very like yeah, moody, just kind of could be angry, could be a little bitter right now. Um, hmm. Let's see what else in a connection. Uh, I feel like somebody is in deep contemplation about a marriage or family stability about the stability of their family or somebody could be going through a transition maybe walking away from a ten of cups moving away from a ten of cups or overcome trying to overcome obstacles in a ten of cups hmm hmm Ten of Pentacles. I feel like somebody is uh, financially stable in the connection, but maybe not um, emotionally fulfilled. Somebody wants to go towards emotional fulfillment, so I feel like somebody needs to make a choice here. I feel like somebody is definitely trying to build a, an empire, but I feel like somebody is definitely not emotionally fulfilled here. Um, I feel like somebody might possibly be <clears throat> um, 
not following their heart, maybe um, seeing things from a different perspective in their connection. Knight of um, Swords here. I feel like somebody is wanting to take action to bring some emotional fulfillment in their connection. I feel like somebody is possibly very controlling in the connection, very impulsive, maybe aggressive. Five of Pentacles. Um, I feel like somebody has got a lack minds, um, lack minds, lack and lack mentality. Um, feeling abandoned, possibly. You know, I feel like somebody's feeling some financial hardship, possibly. Some some of you going through a financial hardship. Hmm. Is maybe need to go uh is trying to overcome some financial uh some overcome some obstacles. Maybe uh separated from uh maybe had to separate from someone. Was a maybe a negative change in a uh a, a family dynamic. So I feel like somebody's feeling real alone, maybe they're struggling right now. Um, but I feel like it's time for you to take action, take some risk, you know, be brave and courageous, you know, make some sacrifices, let go of, um, this lack mentality. I, I feel like you might be, um, feeling, um, you know, worried, you know what I'm saying? I feel like things are going to work out in your, in your favor. I feel like you're going to have some abundance coming in, maybe some good news coming in. So, um, I feel like it's time for you to really get grounded and focus on your goals. Hmm. I feel like, you know, you've been through a lot of challenges and obstacles. I feel like some of you coming out from, um, you know, as a wounded warrior. Um, but I feel like you are very in independent. Um, and I feel like some of you don't like to show your weakness, but if you need, to, you know, uh, I feel like you are a high achiever, very intellectual, you know, but I feel like, uh, you need to change your perceptive about something. Um, I feel like, you know, you're very independent, so you don't like to take help from people, you know. Um, but I feel like, you know, there's been a major change. So somebody could have lost their job or uh, recently went through a breakup that's causing them some financial instability. But I feel like you feel uncertain about where your life is going to go. So I feel like some of y'all went through a major upheaval here. So I feel like you're in a lack mindset, but I feel like you need to have some willpower and maintain control over your life. You are going to overcome some obstacles here. So I feel like you are going to be in this ten of pinnacle situation. But I feel like you also need to make some sac sacrifices as well. Um, this hangman energy is like, you know, you need to, you know, observe the situation, you know, um, see things from a different perspective. I feel like you need to tap into your creativity, you know, and think fast on your sweet, uh, think fast on your feet. Cause I feel like you very, um, very intellectual. I think you need to take charge of your life and make some, take some action. Be, you know, think quick. You know what I'm saying? You know, I feel like sometimes you, you know, maybe do things without planning. So I feel like you might need a plan. Now, I feel like somebody could be feeling a little bitter. I feel like somebody in the, in the relationship could be, um, possibly some one of, one of you in the relationship is making more money than the other. So the other one could be bitter about that or, um, feeling some jealousy. But I feel like Eight of Wands energy. Um, there is you. You are going to get a message about something, so you could be getting some good news about um, a job. 
Um, you're going to have some rapid change in your finances. So it's going to be a sudden change. Some of y'all could be needing to make a change in, in uh, employment. So if you feel in financial hardship, so some of y'all might need to take action to make a change in finance and go a different direction and get out of this lack mentality, this victim mentality. You know, uh, tap into your creativity, make some, you know, the necessary changes you need to, to elevate yourself. But I feel like you are going to be stable. So I feel like you need to be optimistic about life. But I feel like some of y'all are going through um, uh, like a, a, a breakup, like you finally seeing, you know, things from a different perspective. I feel like you're seeing your people, you know, your person as, you know, uh, <clears throat> from a different perspective. But I feel like, you know, your, your person, you're a very responsible person, very hard worker. I feel like you're more critical on your on yourself. You know, um, I feel like you're being very hard on yourself. But I feel like, you know, your it, things are going to change. If you're experiencing financial hardship, I feel like things are going to change for you. So I feel like you you might be receiving a windfall of money. Just, you know, stay optimistic. Stay, keep your mind, you know, keep a positive mindset about things. Uh, because, you know, when you keep a negative mindset, that's what you're going to attract. So I feel like you need to change your perspective. You know, be thankful for the journey. Be th thankful for... Um, the lessons, you know, learn from your past mistakes and things like that. Um, be optimistic about your, you know, your future. Because I feel like, you know, there is going to be a major change. You know, even though you had, uh, you know, something, a tower come in. But I feel like this tower happened for you to help ascend to the highest version of yourself. For you to do some shadow work, you know, come out of this lack mentality. Some of you could be... Um, uh, just, you know, you know, feel like you not where you should be in life, but that's just a matter of you taking action, getting out of this negative mindset. Um... Some of you uh, are, you know, in situations, you know, connections that's keeping you stagnant or holding you back um, because you're not happy. You're not emotionally happy. So you, some of you just need to leave those connections because it's keeping you creatively blocked. You're not following your heart. Some of you are not following your heart in your career path. So you need to change your career paths and follow your heart so you can feel more fulfilled. Um, and I feel like, you know, some of you are very energetic, you know, and I feel like once you make these changes, your, your, your energy will come back. You'll, um, you'll increase your vitality. You'll be prosperous. You know, you'll have a sense of clarity. You'll have a sense of achievement. Um, but I feel like if you work, focus on self-love and self-care, um, you'll feel a sense of happiness and satisfaction, um, you know, I feel like, you know, some of you could just be stagnant right now. You know, I feel like the will is going to turn in your favor, though, the will of fortune here. So I feel like you're going to come to an end of a cycle. I feel like you're closing out old cycles. I feel like you need to release some of that baggage, you know, old baggage that you're holding on to. Um, you know, I feel like your life is about to have a major shift, Right. And it's going to be a positive change. I feel like some new doors are going to be opening for you. I feel like you're going to uh, need to, uh, you're going to have some new opportunities um, opening up for you. So I feel like you need to uh, perfect your craft. Um, also, you know, have the willpower to uh, master your skills. Um, also, be able to adapt to a changing situation changing environments you know what i'm saying like um uh, you know even though yeah this tower happened uh don't get down on your luck you know 
because you don't know what the you don't know what God has in store for you. So maybe this tower happened to help you elevate to something else because something else is better ahead of you, right? So don't look in the rear view mirror or don't look at this like a, you know, a loss because you could be gaining something so much better. You know, just know that you have all the tools and resources to manifest what it is you want. So, you know, concentrate on, you know, what's, you know, in front of you. Live in the now. Don't focus on what you don't have. Be thankful for what you do have, right? Um, yeah, and it's time for you to tap into your creativity, you know, take action, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, it's time for you to get emotionally grounded or I feel like some of you are emotionally grounded. Some of you could be suppressing your emotion. I feel like, you know, um, some of you are very balanced emotionally. Um, some of you very family oriented, very affectionate, you know, very reliable, a natural born leader. Um, so I feel like some of you are, like I said, trying to restore balance in your connections. Um, some of you just need to make a choice, right? Uh, set some healthy boundaries in your connections and, uh, release any bitterness, you know, stand up for what you believe in, in that queen of swords energy, right? You know, get, you know, get some clarity. You know, get some mental clarity. I feel like some of y'all have mental clarity about some of these, you know, the jobs that y'all in, some of the relationships y'all in, and, and Six of Swords, you know. We have a Six of Swords. It's about releasing baggage, moving to calmer waters, overcoming hardships, overcoming obstacles, moving on, accepting the lessons. So some of y'all, like I said, need to release these connections. Some of y'all moving on, calling in. Connections, Ten of Cups. But I feel like it's time for you to take action, take control of your life. You know, I feel like some of y'all feeling trapped. So some of y'all might need to go into isolation, do some soul searching, do some introspection. But I feel like some of y'all feeling helpless in this victim mentality. I feel like some of y'all need to remove these negative thoughts, come out of these self-imposed prisons, blinding yourself to the truth. But I feel like you got truth and clarity in these situations. I feel like, you know, um, some of y'all are, like I said, going through breakups, uh, walking away from things that's no longer serving you. But I feel like, you, you know, um, you're holding on to past hurt and pain. Some of y'all are going to be healing. You're going to heal through those things, you know. But you have to let that go so you can move forward. Just have, you know, faith that a new beginning is coming for you, that full energy. Step into the unknown. Don't be afraid to step into the unknown. Some of y'all need to release the fear of the unknown. You know, be ready to go on new adventures. You know, be uh, open to new beginnings. And have hope and faith that uh, everything's going to work out for your highest good star energy here on the bottom of the deck. Healing. You know, I feel like some of y'all just need to get inspired. You know, um, have some self-confidence. Be bold and brave. Like I said, tapping into your um, creativity. You know, I feel like you're going to have um, luck. Good luck and fortune is on your side. You got the will. You got the chariot here. You got the ten of cups here. You got the ten of pentacles here. You got the sun energy here. You got the tower, uh, the towers. Oh, well, you got uh, all of this is divine. You got, you got a lot of uh, majors here. You know, the magicians here. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine majors here out of six, 12, 18 cards. Half these cards is major. So, whatever it is, this is a divinely guided for you to. Um, yeah, then you got the world. You know, you're going to achieve great things. You end in a cycle to head towards new beginnings. You're going to be prosperous, you know. You just have to have faith and be ready to take that leap of faith. So, uh, you have to have faith that good things are coming towards you and be ready to take that leap of faith. So, money is going to come towards you. Good things are going to happen towards you. You just got to believe it's going to happen. You're going to have this Ten of Cups. You're going to have this Ten of Pentacles. So, 
you know, some of y'all need to walk away from things that's no longer serving you. So y'all, yeah, that six of swords. Release the bag so you can uh, open up this floodgate of abundance that's coming towards you. But you can't manifest if you're in this negative lack mindset. So it's all about you releasing that. Uh, focus on self-care, self-love, keeping a, a positive mindset, being thankful for the journey, faith, thankful for the lessons, staying in the, um, in the now, living in the now. It says you're very close to achieving your goals. So focus on your goals and keep moving forward. Yeah, so you're gonna be a, you're gonna you're gonna achieve your goals. You're gonna you're gonna be victorious. You just had to maintain that willpower. It says prosperity lies ahead, so you're gonna be very prosperous in your life, Capricorn. So keep moving ahead, Taurus. Some of y'all could be dealing with Taurus. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, we got the Chariot here. Uh, oh, Cancer energy. We got the hangman here, Pisces energy. Um, we got the cups, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the tower here. Uh, what's the tower? I always do that every single time. <laughs> uh, oh, Aries energy. We got the sun, that's Leo. Uh, we got... Um, the magician is um, Virgo Gemini. We got the fool is Aquarius. We got the wheel of fortune is um, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. We have the pinnacles here, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got, oh, we got the swords, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got pretty much everyone here. We don't have no... We got one wand. You got to restore some passion back in your life. We ain't got nothing but one damn wand. You need some passion, some drive, some ambition. So fire signs very low on the totem pole here. So, yeah, I would say, Capricorn, you need to, uh, to ignite some passion in your life. Fire. We got the star. Aquarius. Yeah, it says work through your fears. So I feel like this is about you letting go of fear and anxiety. You know, scorpionic energy here. So Scorpio's here. You know, just grabbing the bull by the horns and, and you know, moving forward. Let's see what else. I did good with y'all today. I might do one more before I go to bed. Uh-oh, okay. It says your um, commitment is being tested. So, yeah, your commitment is being tested. So, it's all about you having faith that, um, you know, good things are coming your way. Your blessings are coming. You know, just work through those fears and stay and, and stay positive. You know, everything's going to work out for your highest good. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, so the world ending a cycle. The wheel of fortune ending a cycle. It says be bold and make the first move. Yeah, so step out on faith, you know. Um, take a leap of faith, that full energy. You know, know that you have all the tools and resources within you to um, call in your, uh, your desires, right? You got abundance coming towards your way. A floodgate of abundance, you know. Good luck and fortune is on your side. You know, you just need to take action. It's time for you to take action. Ignite that spark in your heart. Okay, for, for yeah, so it looks like, um, okay. Healing family issues, like your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So if some of y'all could be healing from some past life trauma, you know, childhood issues, uh, you know. Um, it says, uh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So some, some of y'all could be dealing with people and seeing red flags and just holding on to, to holding on to past relationships, holding on to relationships you know you're not supposed to be in anymore. And it says, unrequited love. There's not a love, uh, enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So some of y'all need to let go of connections that's no longer serving you, that's keeping you stuck and stagnant, that's not that you know you're uninspired in so um 
you know, and then it says wedding. This situation involves marriage. So some of y'all could be married to people that y'all need to let go. Some of y'all could be calling in new love. Um, but if you hold on to something that you're not supposed to be in no more, there's no way you can call in your new blessing. So um, if this is involving a marriage, y'all could be trying to work through it. Um, or you need to walk away from something. True love. This is, a, this is the romance of a lifetime. So, yeah, so some of y'all could be calling in love that's going to be leading to marriages. So everybody's situation is going to be different, but you know, I feel like some of y'all just holding on to stuff that's, that y'all know is not working no more. And it says passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, so like I said, some of y'all calling in new love, but I feel like some of y'all need to let go of the past so y'all can move into your future. And it says playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine so some of y'all are trying to work through um connections like uh, marriages or connections and and bring back life into those connections some of y'all will stay in those connections but some of y'all see the red flags you know it's unrequited y'all need to walk away from those so everyone's situation is different capricorn if this resonated for you um go ahead and hit like share and subscribe until the next video love and light